Hey, Paco here. So for my 100th video, I decided to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to tell you about this big revelation I had recently that was inspired by Emily Wapnick's TED Talk, Why Some of Us Don't Have One True Calling. But first, a pop quiz. So what do the following have in common? So the answer, of course, is that they're all things that I personally have done in the past two months. So after 40 years of figuring my life out, I finally know what I want to be when I grow up. I want to be a generalist, or as Emily puts it, I'm a multi-potentialite. Now, there are two types of people. There are the specialists, and those are the people who spend most of their lives doing one thing and exploring one area. Think of a YouTuber that every video is about tying knots. They may become YouTube's go-to place for knot tying, but you're not going to find much else on their channel. They dig down deep in one area and become experts on that one thing. And then you have the generalists. They dig down a little on one topic, learn what they want and experiment with creating something in that area, and then once they've satisfied their curiosity, they're constantly looking for the next cool thing to try. Take me for instance. I sometimes really get into a hobby and then suddenly, squirrel! I move on to something else. You can see that in the variety of my videos on my YouTube channel. My most popular video is how to install an air conditioner. The next most popular is about basket weaving with natural materials. Then it goes into a knot tying video, then some do-it-yourself camera equipment, then some hammock videos, etc. But then I also have some indoor and backpacking cooking recipes, some extreme unicycling videos, a few do-it-yourself juggling ball instructions, a video about my art, and then a completely random stop-motion animation. And that's not even including all my random New Year's videos. But no matter how passionate I got about any of these areas, they were never going to be the thing that was going to sustain me forever. Um, ever since I was a little kid, I thought I was supposed to find that one true passion that was going to fulfill me for the rest of my life. Well, guess what? It ain't going to happen. Now let me dispel a few misconceptions out there. It's not that I lack focus or concentration. When I'm working on a project out in the garage or in nature, I can easily go six hours without stopping, even to eat. And I don't have a fear of commitment either. I've been with the same company for the past seven years and been married to my best friend for the past 13 and a half. And it's not that I can't complete something that I start. On the contrary, I got myself a master's degree, I've built five ukuleles, um, I built my hammock backpacking equipment almost entirely from scratch. What I've learned about myself is that I have a tendency to get really into some hobby or some topic and I'll learn everything I can about it. Uh, but after a time, I've learned everything that I want to know uh, and I'm ready to move on to something else. As Barbara Scher points out in her excellent book, Refuse to Choose, generalists are like honeybees. Bees fly around looking for the flower that piques their interest, but once they find it, they're not going to build a home there and live there permanently. They get what they need out of that one flower and then move on to the next, because their point isn't to stay interested in one flower forever. Their point is to get a little from many places and make honey. Likewise, I don't plan on sticking with one interest forever. My generalist personality actually served me very well in my professional capacity. 
uh, in my 20s and early 30s, I spent time as an ESL instructor and part-time clown, and I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. But then I decided what I really wanted was to go back and get a master's degree. Uh, and so I got that in academic advising. I'm a specialist, right? Well, let me tell you a little bit about my current job. So my current job is working in an international office as the academic advisor. So beyond the advising that I do every day and the teaching of classes, uh, some of the things that I've done in the past two months are... If I tried to dedicate myself to one aspect of my personality only, there's no way I would have been able to accomplish everything I've been asked to accomplish in my job. But we definitely need specialist advisors out there who know everything there is to know about being an advisor. We need specialist jugglers who dedicate their entire lives to becoming the best jugglers possible. We need excellent lawyers, we need excellent doctors. That, that's all they do. That is their big interest in life. But when you need somebody who can do a little bit of everything, there's people like me. So this is me, and this is my YouTube channel. I plan to continue making these videos uh, because it is one of my passions, but you know, I don't expect to be any more consistent than I am now with putting them out. Because no matter how much I enjoy doing this, there will always be a passion that pulls me away again. Um, but that's who I am, and thank you for supporting me, and thank you for your patience as I put out these videos whenever I do. And until next time, bye.